I wondered if you could tell me briefly about your past history in sourcing venture capital. So, um, gosh, it was probably about close to 10 years ago when I started Cirrus Corporation. Right. Um, so my background is I'm a technologist. Right. In, uh, I've got my electrical engineering, mm -hmm. bachelor's, master's in computer science. So wow. um, I guess I always knew I'm going to be uh, starting my own venture someday. So after school, worked at NASA, worked at Silicon Graphics and Healthy on WebMD at a very, very, as a startup company. After we went to IPO, it was in 2001, I decided to start Cirrus. Even though it was a downturn, that was where I was at the stage of my life where yes. I wanted to go yes. build a venture. Yes. So, uh, and also what I was interested in is a journey I wanted to follow in starting a company. I really wanted to bootstrap it uh, and see how is it to have a customer uh, knocking on your door when you're still a very small company and you're still in the alpha, state, alpha or beta stage yes. product. Yes. And that did happen. Wow. So we had, um, in 2001, when I started the company, um, we raised, uh, you know, Angel, close to 500,000 with self um, funded, and we went for about five years. So we got our first VC financing in 2005. Right. And uh, we raised another tr tranche in 2007, and the company has raised about um, close to $18 million. Wow. Wow. So you're very experienced in sourcing venture. <laughs> I guess in building business, I would say. Right, right, fantastic. So what personal lessons, being a woman, have you taken out of your successes and or failures in, in this regard in sourcing venture? You know, um, I really don't see myself as uh, a female or a male when I'm out there right. uh, pitching my company, my ideas or um, what I want to do. Uh, really, that thought does not come into my um, head. Right. So I guess not thinking about it or worrying about it is probably one of the first things you got to do. Sounds like it's a good secret. Yeah. 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 And um, secondly, I think um, really focusing on you know what we have and what we have built, and probably because I bootstrapped the company. Yes. Um, we really had already customers to show for. Right. Um, so we had real revenue coming in. We yes. had market uh, validation already. Yes. So I think uh, there was a lot more to show um, and tell about why this um, venture makes sense. Yes. And secondly, I think I found myself at least, there is a little bit of advantage of being a female mm -hmm. when you um, go to conferences or you, you meet some people just because they remember you. Yes. I mean, you know, yes. there might be, uh, I like going to a conference with 50 people, 80 people because it's still small where it's intimate. And usually there are three women to 50 men or, yes. you know, uh, at the most three to five women. So yes. you're always noticed. <laughs> And so and when I, it, I would imagine. yeah, exactly. And when I sent an email back and say, "Hey, you remember me?" Yes. Nobody forgot, right? Yeah, and they'll be like, "Yeah, I remember you." Yeah. So uh, I thought that was advantage to yes. being different, right? Yes. I mean, and they always, you know, if there was a big line, three people, four people waiting to talk to somebody. If I go stand in line, obviously they'll always notice me, and they would want to make time because Fantastic. just because you're different, you Fantastic. are. Um, so, so I, um, I realized that that was an advantage and I really went after to meet people and uh, said, you know, if it's a conference, it's a meeting place of 50, 100 people, I'm going to be there. Wow. So that was my way of trying to stand out there and network. Yes, yes. So, um, so being a woman, being, I mean, you know, uh, there are some, you know, um, um, different thoughts about you know it might be it might have been probably difficult uh, if I would had um, doing the same thing as you know um, other people or other male counterpart would have done that is you know you have an idea you go in and pitch the idea but that's not what my experience was and that's not what I wanted to follow yeah yeah uh, I had a lot more to show I had customers already um, the CIOs of the companies big companies would take a phone call and say you know why is this um, uh, team doing well or why is this market uh, you know <coughs> big enough for a VC to come in and invest great great that has been my experience that's fantastic feedback what attitudes towards you being female have you noted from venture capitalists when you've been sourcing investment 
Um, very good question. You know, like I said, you know, I really don't notice. So it's all positive, um, really. They just take notice of you, really. Yeah, I mean, I have not noticed if they were any different because I wouldn't know if they were any different. Yes, yes. So I'm, I don't, I didn't focus on it. And, yes. And I felt, you know, um, in general, men um, in, you know, board or investors, I think they tend to be a little bit more gentle. Uh, okay. I found that, you know, they tend to be a lot less um, abrasive in there. Uh, more considerate more so, considerate yeah. wow. and I've even had people come that's in so nice. afterwards and say I hope I was not too hard on you Wow, um, that's so nice, isn't it? Yeah, that's and, so and nice. I said wow, you know uh, Obviously even in a group if they didn't admit I had a lot of them who would come in and say I hope I wasn't too hard on you or yes. um, Are you okay? Yes. So uh, I felt you know that is probably that's something probably they don't do uh, yes, to male counterpart. Yeah, uh, that's yeah. what I haven't heard a male counterpart yeah. receiving that. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, probably that's kind of the more gentleness probably, and you know there you know there are always been uh, times when I've noticed. Um, um, I think in a meeting uh, in Japan, uh, a person didn't give me his business card, but he gave it to my VP and every other male because he thought I was an admin there, or he thought I was a um, uh, really a translator, right? Yes. Which he admitted later and apologized. So you know, um, things like that probably does happen. Yeah. But I don't, you know, but you don't, you don't react to it. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Good, good work. It's actually fun to see the reaction after when they realize <laughs> it, right? What qualities do you think women entrepreneurs need specifically for sourcing venture capital? As you've had got so much experience to date. I really think uh, focusing on the value. Okay. I really think right now probably is a good time for women to be in the world and trying to say, I can make a difference. And it's because, you know, we're not really proving anymore. There was a lot of other women who have been very successful. Yes. Um, look at the CEO of Pepsi or, you know, look at Meg Whitman. And, yes. you know, a lot of women have actually proven that they can run a business and yes. be very successful at it. Yes. Um, so I don't think um, I need to prove, but at the same time, not very many women have come out and said, I'm gonna take my career very seriously. And right. have the same amount of perseverance yes. and dedication and commitment yes. to anything else I do to my career. Yes. And I think that's what somebody would want to see is that you're mm -hmm. really committed mm -hmm. and you are um, going to make sure this is one of the big goals in your life. It's not an experiment. It's not a test. Um, so I would say the attitude should be not to worry if you're a female or not, not right. to worry that you're different because there is, right. you know, when I started the company, yeah, I went to a lot of uh, women forums and, you know, there were uh, people who were telling me that I should be dressing up in pinstripe suits to not put on too much makeup when I go because I don't want to stand out too much as a woman too. Because you're too beautiful <laughs> and, you know, it's like, you don't, you don't want to, you don't, you want to, you know, and you need to play golf, you need to do... I would say don't be anything but yourself, you know, right. because that's where the whole magic happens is, right. yeah, um, you know, who you are and what you bring to yes. the table. Yes. And I think, uh, you know, very interestingly, I've had more men who have actually invested, who've helped me through my career, who've told me I have a daughter and I hope one day she will be just like you. So I think the world has changed where, you know, people are beginning to wonder what happened to their young children yes, and yes. young daughters. So I've, I've been surprised about how many people have actually come and told me that. Yes. So I, you know, my feedback is don't worry if you're a female or a male. Yes. Really focus on the business. Bring yes. what you really have Fantastic. to the table. And, and be determined, I gather, from what you're Yes, saying. and yes. show your commitment that, yes. you know, um, that you are committed yes. to building your career. And this is one of the important, I do have an 11 year old child, but mm. my career is as important as being a mother. You know, I, I mean, I think that has to be well within your own, you know, self-realization yes, as well. I understand. And um, Fred uh, Destin did say that you're a woman that uh, would not say no and would not be stopped. And, and that's why you became so successful. 
So, um, you know, obviously men are seeing that about you, that you have that determination and commitment and passion for what you do. And you're successful. <laughs> Great role <Thank> you. model. <laughs>